Okay. So, this one is going to be a multiple of different little projects because they are tiny. Hmm. Tiny is the word for it, some of them. So, we're just going to grab a few things as you get a real close-up of me. Sorry, I'm playing now. <laughs> and I'll be showing my fails, too. Because I'm not ashamed of my fails, because they, they mean that I'm learning stuff. But we're also bringing in my little crystal rose, because these were stuff that I was making for her, plus some. So, give her her binky. Here's my baby girl. And okay, so, oh, I guess I should take her hat off, and then, so her bonnet can show better. So, just so everybody knows, this is the first time I've made these things ever in my life. There's Crystal Rose wearing her new little outfit. This is her little bonnet that I made. It's a bit big, but like I said, that was the very first thing I ever made. Very first bonnet ever. And she's also wearing a matching sweater. I don't remember the yarn that I used, the name of the yarn. I just know it's a polyester and it's very itchy. I don't, I'm not fond of the feel of it, but I wasn't about to go and buy a really nice yarn for very first projects. And it's a little bit long in the arms for her. Well, not by much. And then I added the pink. You'll see why in a minute about the pink. And I'll bring her for a little... Okay, we'll do it this way. And there's her little booties. So, they look like little booties when they're on her feet. But when you take them off her feet, they don't look like very... They don't look like booties. And there she... Oh, her pinky's all crooked. I have to get that fixed soon. Anyways. So, the thing about this is I'm planning on learning how to do these well enough to sell the sets. Especially to reborners, like to other mom, like reborn owners, collectors, people, mothers, um, daddies. I have no clue what to call it. Anyways, other people who have babies like mine. Because that's something I noticed that nobody has. Like, I would have thought everybody would love to have done that kind of thing, have that kind of thing. And this is her little bassinet blanket. It's made with the Bernat Super Value yarn. And it's, it's actually soft. And it's done with the pink and the white. And I hid my connector stitch, my connector yarn by putting a little bow on there with the two yarns. This pink is the pink that's on the outfit because I was I wanted something that didn't blend in also there's no pink in that yarn at least none that I can see but this is the little bassinet blankie that I made for her and it's done with a waffle it's done as a waffle granny square waffle not awful, waffle, granny square. So it's got all these little, like it's all poofy and it makes it all squishy and soft. Not as soft as baby yarn, but still soft. So those are the things that I made so far, that there for her. Here is another bonnet that I made. It started out nice and then it went like that. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it is a bonnet with a super flare. <laughs> so, like I said, learning. I like the little back pattern on this, though. It's got the little flower, little flower on it. So I did that part good. It's just the front part kind of went funny. 
That's okay. I learned. That's all I can do. So, I mentioned in the last video that I was working on pieces and I'd only did one of because it didn't work out the way I was thinking. This is the one of. It is a little booty, pink booty. And I don't know if it will actually fit her. Oh, it might. I haven't tried it on her foot yet. So, but I was playing around with all my different yarns. This is the Burnett Satin, the pink ribbon yarn that I'm making using to make uh, the blanket. I made a booty. Hmm. So, I may have to actually try and build that one again and see if it actually does work for her. So here's a couple other things that I've made. In my travels, I've gone to different yard sales, estate sales, things like that. and I've picked up tons of different things. And in one of my travels, I picked up a box of crafting stuff. And it came with, like, yarn. It came with knitting needles and stitching stuff it, like it had it was a wide variety of stuff and one of the yarn it came with was a baby yarn or at least I thought it was a baby yarn at first until I had was making things and I real and I did research on it it was a 1950s thistle down from fur wool in England it's 50% Angora, 29% wool, and 21% nylon. I had blue, mismatched booties. This is all I could make with the blue I had. So they're two different sized booties. But I got ideas. I got plans for them. And you can see the fuzz. They are so... Oh, and you can see my tails. I haven't finished them yet. They are so soft. So, that was the blue. And here is the white. My intention for these are preemie baby booties. But I have made one, two, three, four, five. So I have an extra booty and they look to me to be all different sizes. I think I have two matching pairs though. And like I said, any of the extras, any that don't match, I have ideas for. I'm going to make them into key rings. Where is the... I have one that I did up. That didn't match anybody because it was too big or something. Where did it go? It's here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, here's what's left of the white. The white white stuff so I might have enough to build another one I'll try but the one I'm looking for it was a mismatch because it was too big or something it was right here oh boy typical me <laughs> something's right here and then I can't find it again so of course, once I finish the video, it will show up. But it's what I'm going to turn these little guys into. What I did is I took some filling, some stuffing, and filled the booty, and then closed it at top. And then I added some lace to it, and then I'll just put it on a little key ring. So... 
I'm a little worried, a little upset now because that was a really cute booty. So that's what I've been working on there. I have somebody that I'm in contact with that has a preemie, preemie doll, and asked for some measurements so I can find out if these little booties would work or not. Oh, I forgot to show these ones. There's these little guys that I made. And what these are is made out of a cotton yarn that I picked up at Dollarama. It was a package of 10 tiny little balls of yarn. And I was like, Oh, I'll figure something out with these. Like I'll make something out of them. So I've been trying different things. Um, learned how to make pom-poms. Didn't know how to make those until just recently. And pigtails. Well, I call them pigtails. They're called curticues. But they curl up like pigtails. That was my first one. So. But... Anyways, back to the original thing, like these doll ones, like these baby sets, I'm hoping to get good enough that I can make these bonnets and booties and all of that matching and set up. And I have, oh, where is it? There's my bag of yarn. Aha. That Burnett Premium is what I'm using. And Burnout Super Value. Why do I have two different types of yarn? Okay, so the pink. And again, it's all backwards. Burnout Premium. It doesn't... Oh, there it is. It's a medium four. It's got fuzzies. Nice and soft. And then the Burnout Super Value is the number four medium. They're both 100% acrylic and they're both really soft. So I've got another blanket I'm making with those, what was left of those. Oh, right, okay. Where'd that funny bonnet go? There it is. This bonnet was made using Burnat, Burnat Baby Sport. And again, it's backwards to you guys. So anyways, so that's, basically this is my practice yarn. I'll be using more for practice right now. Because I found let's put it back in its bag. Clean up my little area here. Get some of these other balls of the yarn away. So that's the other blanket. Again, it's the same thing. It's the pink, it's the same pink and white, but it's going to be white. I'm going to use up all use up all the white in the one ball. Then use up all the pink. And then use up the last of the white. So it's going to be like a, kind of like a striped thing. I'll show it when I'm finished it. So this I thought was really gorgeous. It's Burnett Baby Coordinates. It's a light three. But it's the colors. Look at those colors. And it's got some kind of like a, spark, a shiny thread through them. So when I get really good, I'm going to make something. I have two balls of that stuff. So I'm going to make something out of that for my little crystal rose. But the stuff that I bought to make something to sell 
it's called what is it called love baby georgia and it's connected to a charity again children's miracle network for every ball of baby love sold a percentage of all proceeds will be donated to children's miracle network thank you it's 100 percent acrylic and it is a light number three and i didn't think this was the one i was looking for for baby stuff until i saw a little swatch that they made to sell the stuff um they had knitted up a little piece like a little section and i was like oh okay that is what i'm looking for so i have this in pink and in blue and it didn't occur to me until just recently i need to go back and get some balls of white to do like little edgings and stuff or do white with pink and blue edgings and you know so that's fine i got four balls of this stuff and it is super soft like it feels like it should be like that angora but it's a hundred percent acrylic and it is just so so baby like so i have that stuff for when i get to the point that sorry for disappearing and showing off what am i showing off Okay, just all my little knickknacks, or as the hubby puts it, all my junk on the back there. But that's my baby projects and what I plan on doing with them. Hopefully I get, like I've been doing really good, like lots of practicing, like these are so cute, like literally... It, that's my finger. Well, I guess that doesn't help much. Um, oh, here. Compare it to them. Oh, don't flash the people. Okay, that's a mouse. And that's the size of the booty. In comparison, there's... Oh, hey. I could almost fit the mouse into the booty. Or if that's even better. Not really. Hmm. Who knows. But that's what I... And I only learned how to do this like two weeks ago. It wasn't... In, then when I went online, I went... Oh, this is not that hard. And the, like I said, the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm thinking that maybe people would love to buy the sets for our babies. So I remember when I was a kid, everybody that everybody who had a baby had these baby sets. Even the baby, little girls who had baby dolls, they had their babies, like their moms, buy the baby sets. So that's my plans. They're not good enough yet, I don't think, but more practice. And it's actually not too bad for the yarn because. It's like ten dollars for that big bat, big ball of yarn that I showed you there, the baby sport. And if doing small enough stuff, so I'm gonna get a lot of stuff out of it. And maybe I'll figure out why I did the whole flare thing with this one. I'm also gonna be working on preemie stuff. And well, it's just lots of stuff that I want to do. I just have to learn it and get better at it, which is like anything. You can't just expect to pick up something and learn how to do it like right off the bat. So I will not be learning how to knit anytime soon. That's something else that people do with the baby sets is they knitted them. But knitting is going to take a little longer because it's a little more complicated, I think. But I'm going to try it, just not anytime soon. So, but 
this has been 20 minutes already, so I'll let it go. And I hope y'all have a good day. Thank you.